YouTube, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. About a year ago, I did a video on dual PC input lag and stop buying capture cards. There was a major input lag issue if you used a capture card and you cloned it to your gaming monitor. Now, this input lag got way worse when you would go to higher resolutions like 1440p and 4K. I couldn't figure out what the issue was back then, but my suggestion was to use OBS NDI or OBS full screen projector mode. This video is going to clear some things up and to show that the issue has been resolved now. And now it is a viable option to do if you want to clone your gaming monitor to your capture card without any added input lag. I'm going to show you guys the ins and outs of what was causing the issue and what could cause the issue again in the future if you don't keep an eye out on a couple of things if you want to do this method with your streaming PC. I'll be taking these two videos down as they've kind of become obsolete now this issue has been fixed. So I went down a bit of a rabbit hole and I've done a bunch of benchmarks and I was able to duplicate the same issue I had back then because I didn't quite understand why the issue had been fixed now. But now I figured it out. So I'm going to show you guys the ins and outs. Now what was the issue? It turned out it was an NVIDIA driver issue using the wrong flip model while you were cloning your capture card. So I've been able to figure that out, which is great. And it's been fixed on the newer NVIDIA drivers. Now this could be an issue on AMD too, but you can actually check for that. Now, there's a couple of different flip models. The flip models that you guys want to be in when you play games for the lowest input lag is going to be hardware independent flip. You can also use legacy flip if you disable full screen optimizations on certain games that aren't DirectX 12, but that's become obsolete now and Microsoft have patched the latency issue. So there isn't a latency difference between hardware independent flip and legacy flip. Also to let you guys know, games that run in Vulkan will always be Legacy Flip regardless. So there will be always longer alt tab times on Legacy Flip and Vulkan games. But hardware independent flip is fine and there is no gain or reason to be using full screen exclusive to force Legacy Flip. As long as you're in hardware independent flip, it is fine. Now I actually rolled back drivers to try to discover the issue that I was having back then and was trying to understand why the issue i was having now wasn't an issue and i could clone without any added input lag fine so i rolled back drivers and discovered that it was a driver issue and that was really good so this is kovacs without a capture card connected to my graphics card and we're in full screen in kovacs and it's hardware independent flip so that's good okay when i go windowed Surprisingly on Windows 10, I'm on Windows 10 testing here. Ignore that. That's just a text that I need to update. It's actually hardware independent flip as well, which is cool, which I measured the same latency. I'll show you guys the results shortly. All right. And the same for Modern Warfare 2. So now I'm, I'm going back and I've tested these games just because these are the games that I tested back then with the video. So that's what I wanted to do here. But I can promise you guys that this issue has plagued all games. It was an issue with all games. It doesn't matter what, if it's DirectX 12, 11, or Vulkan. It was an issue with all games. Okay, so this is Modern Warfare 2 in full screen without a capture card connected. We're in hardware independent flip. That's great. In full screen borderless mode or windowed mode, hardware independent flipped as well. And then actually kind of measured the same latency, which is great. So I don't know if the fix optimization for windowed mode games is actually working in windows 10 because technically i have applied the registry key so maybe it is working i apologize if the text is small but you guys can see it says vrr uh, sorry it says uh swap effect enable upgrade one so my guide applies this through the registry regardless and um, which will what i've done uh, for these tests as well so i think that actually might be working so you can potentially play borderless windowed mode with the same latency um, even in DirectX 12, uh, 11 titles and under on Windows 10, which is interesting. So that's another thing I sort of discovered, which is cool. So maybe the stuff from Windows 11 is working in the back end in Windows 10. I'm not sure, but it seems to be working. But I'll show you guys the results, the results shortly. Now, here's where we plug in a capture card and we clone the monitors and we get the issue. So this is Kovacs in full screen, okay, and we're cloned. But look, we don't have the same things that it doesn't say FIT on frame view. I'm sorry if it's very, very small. If you look up the top here, it doesn't say FIT. So F for full screen, I for independent, um, or T's for tearing anyway. But as you can see here, we're in full screen, but it's actually put us in um, comp flip mode. 
So that would be composed flip that causes a lot of issues with frame rate and um, also latency. So that turned out to be the issue. Um, as you can see here, we put it in comp flip. So um, when it gets a little bit even more interesting is when I go to windowed mode on the older driver, it puts us in hardware independent flip, but there's still the latency issue there. Um, I'll show you guys the results shortly. Um, and same thing with Modern Warfare 2. I tested this with a bunch of different games, but I just, like I said, I wanted to show the same games from the older videos. Um, we're in Comp Flip here, and that's a DirectX 12 title, whereas Kovacs is a DirectX 11 title. So, yeah, that's kind of what's causing the issue. We're not in independent mode in full screen. And I go to full screen borderless, the same thing happens here. It says hardware independent flip, which is what we want to be in. There's still added latency. So, very, very interesting. Anyway, so now here I've updated driver to the latest driver and we're cloned here and the issue has been resolved. We're in cloned with a capture card and we're in full screen and we're in hardware independent flip. So that issue has been fixed and it was an NVIDIA driver issue, right? Okay, and then windowed, same thing again. And then Modern Warfare 2 with the latest driver cloned, we're in hardware independent flip. So basically TLDR, the issue was it was putting us in comp flip on the older drivers. What I found quite interesting is NVIDIA has taken down the older drivers and the only way I was able to get the older drivers was through uh, tech power up or something like that to actually test this. So I just find it a little weird that NVIDIA have taken those old drivers down. They haven't talked about it at all, but that could be just like coincidence at the end of the day. So I'll show you guys the results because it gets quite interesting um, when we actually look at the frame rate and latency results. All right, let's jump into the results. So I um, had to use my external tool here because I'm using my 4K monitor. So just take some of these results a little bit variable. There's always going to be variation when it comes to benchmarks and also latency as well. And the external tool that I have can sometimes be variable by 0.2 of a millisecond. So there's that. So there's a lot of factors when it comes to variability. But looking at this one, 4K full screen in Kovacs um, on the, this is the older driver. Um, it is like the latency is good. Okay. And interesting enough, we go to 4K windowed mode. That put us in hardware independent flipped as well. So I don't know if that's the optimization from Windows 11. Um, which isn't available to Windows 10. Optimization for full screen wi uh, windowed mode games is actually working, but the latency is good there in windowed mode too. We're also in hardware independent flipped. Now, um, when it kind of shit hits the fan is when we're using that older driver, um, 4K full screen cloned, look at how much extra latency that we're getting. And that's basically almost to the T, the same latency increase that I was getting back then in the video about a year ago. When we go to windowed clone there isn't really a difference at all it's pretty much the same so then we go to the new driver full screen cloned on the new driver uh little drive the latest driver as of today that i'm doing this video and as you can see the it's exactly the same um latency and frame rate so that's really really good um so yeah that issue has been resolved now where it gets even more interesting is um running in windowed mode on the new driver causes massive issues so TLDR, basically, you can clone with the new drivers. Everything's fixed and fine, and there's no added latency, but you really can't run in windowed mode if you're going to be cloning at all. Um, and also, G-Sync and V-Sync works as well if you want to clone, but um, it's, there's a little bit of a caveat to that, so I'll talk about that a little bit later. I'll show you guys the 1080p results, but they're pretty much the same. So 1080p full screen, latency is fine, 5.08. 1080p windowed as well, latency is identical, which is cool to see. So like I said, I think the Windows 11 full screen uh, windowed optimization is working. Um, and then when we go to um, full screen cloned, that's when we, once again, we're getting that added input lag on the older driver because it's putting us in um, the compositor, it's putting us in comp flip mode, which is no good. Then we switch to the new driver um, and it's great. Like you've got this identical latency, um, and, um, we're in hardware independent flip mode, which is great. Then same thing again, you go to windowed mode and we're losing frames and we get added latency. So there's obviously an issue on all round. If you're cloning, you can't run windowed mode at all. If you're cloning, it doesn't matter what driver or what comp flip mode you're in. It's just clearly an issue with, with, uh, like windows or the drivers. So if you're going to clone, don't, um, use windowed mode, always use full screen. Uh, this is this is quite interesting results. So I'll show you the Modern Warfare 2 results as well. 
Now, all tests were done with On Plus Boost. Uh, on Plus Boost makes a huge difference in 4K, even with a 4090 and people that are really, really, really GPU bound. So that helps a lot too. Uh, if I turn uh, it to just on or uh, I, I actually get quite a little bit of extra latency, um, especially on 4K, not so much on 1080p. Um, and then, yeah, if I turn it off, there's, there's a lot of latency. So um, Video Reflex is a must um, for people that have lower end graphics cards or higher end graphics cards that are playing higher resolutions that want low latency. So anyway, Modern Warfare 2 in full screen mode um, on, on the older driver, uh, frame rate and latency is good. Okay, when we go to windowed mode, the latency comes up a little bit, but I'm going to say that's maybe a variation um, or it could just be an engine thing because in Modern Warfare 3, you can play the same latency in full screen window. I'm going to say that's a variation, okay? Now, when we go to uh, 4K, 4K full screen cloned on the older driver, like there's a lot of added latency as you can see here. Uh, latency has gone from 13 milliseconds to 20 milliseconds, which is horrible. Okay. And the latency is pretty much identical on windowed cloned on the audit driver. Then if we use the new driver and we clone, the results are good, which is good. So issues have been resolved here too. Pretty much close enough or almost identical. Like I said, there's going to be some variation in these tests, but um, it would be too difficult for me to do them over and over again and work out an average. So I just wanted to get this video out. Um, but the same thing again in Modern Warfare 2, even though we've gone from DirectX 11 in Kovacs to DirectX 12 um, in um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, yeah, there's an issue running uh, windowed mode with cloned. So basically just don't run windowed mode in cloned. I'll show you guys the 1080p results, but they're pretty much the same. It's good for me to show you guys different um, like resolutions, especially being on a 4090. 1080p, I can show you CPU bound situation. Uh, 4K, I can show you guys GPU bound situation. So you get the both, best of both worlds. So 1080p full screen, um, latency is good, uh, 9.48 milliseconds. Windowed mode, latency is good, 9.9 .9 milliseconds. Um, and then when we go uh, full screen cloned, we go all the way up to 16 milliseconds. So they, this this was driving me crazy back then because I knew something wasn't right, okay? That's what let me down that rabbit hole back then and that's why I did those videos. Um, and then window cloned is pretty much the same. So I update driver um, and the issue is fixed. We're in hardware independent mode with cloned in full screen and we've pr practically got identical latency uh, to the full screen mode, which is great. Um, and then, yeah, like same thing again on 1080p. If we run windowed mode with cloned, there is an issue. So I hope this can help you guys out a little bit. But I will be taking those videos down. So TLDR from this whole video, because I wanted to try to keep it as short as possible. Cloning has now been fixed on the newer NVIDIA drivers. Now this could be an issue on AMD too. So what to look out for, you guys could simply install FrameView or you could use my MSI Afterburner overlay, but it's probably going to be easier if you guys install FrameView. Clone your monitors, so clone your gaming PC monitor to your capture card, open up a game, check FrameView, make sure you see F for full screen and I for hard independent mode, hardware independent mode. So those are the two things that you want to be in. Uh, if you're not in those things, there's probably going to be a massive latency issue and also make sure you don't run windowed mode if you're cloning with your capture card so that that is the fix okay now obviously if you're cloning your gaming monitor to your capture card you will get screen tearing on your game gameplay so your recordings and your stream that's just how it is you've got a high refresh rate monitor and then you've got a low refresh rate monitor capture card you're cloning to now like oh, some of you guys might be able to use pass through that's great use pass through um that'll solve like a lot of issues but a lot of people can't use pass through because we have very high refresh rate monitors now and capture cards haven't really kept up like that's always been an issue so pass through is not an option for me um being on 4k 240 or when i was on 1440p 360 or 1080p 540 hertz there aren't any pass through options for that at all now um with g-sync and v-sync i've been testing this too it has been fixed but if you want g-sync to work properly you have to make sure that your capture card isn't in VRR mode. So to quite simply see this, um, you would click on the capture card itself and then you would have to make sure that it is just not G-Sync compatible. Now, unfortunately, I've done a firmware update for my capture card, so it is VRR compatible, but I was lucky enough to get a custom EDID to be able to change that to remove 
um, the VRR support. So if you want to clone and use G-Sync, the capture card has to not the VRR supported or you can trick it with custom resolution utility. So Nvidia doesn't see the capture card as a G-Sync supported monitor, then you can use it and V-Sync works fine. So I've had quite a nice experience cloning now with the same latency and not losing frames using G-Sync or V-Sync and ultra low latency mode in game. So it caps to a clean 225. It's quite a nice config. It's kind of the sweet spot for frames in modern games anyway with a 4090. But I just thought I'd mention that. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I'll be taking those old videos down. I'm pretty sure I covered everything that I wanted to cover. Enjoy guys and take it easy. And currently I'm going to be working on my next video, which is going to be Windows 10 versus Windows 11. And then after that, I want to uh, be testing the Windows uh, administrator account to see if there are actually any more frames because uh, I've seen some interesting videos come out on that. So see you guys in the next one. Bye.